A prominent group of black health researchers are coming together to provide black health education to all medical professionals and students. They say the online modules are the first of its kind and are desperately needed. Over the last year, we've seen how the COVID-19 pandemic is impacting communities very inequitably. Uh, the murder of George Floyd and uh, I think awakened that global conversation, but also that this is a very Canadian problem. The Black Health Education Collaborative is a national project co-led by University of Toronto and Dalhousie University. It includes all black scholars. They are currently working on modules with the goal of them being a resource on black health in Canada. Our focus is really on medical students, public health students, and also faculty. Uh, so we know that we, we, uh, for students to actually learn, you have to have faculty who are able to support that learning. In addition to students and faculty, we will make our resources available to practitioners who may be working in different clinical settings, say in hospitals, in community, in community health uh, centers. Dr. Anyi Noram, a prominent researcher within the collaborative, says even though Black people are the third largest visible minority in Canada, there's a lot of misinformation when it comes to their health. Black people have higher levels of blood pressure, and that might be due to genetic issues, as opposed to understanding how anti-Black racism and the everyday um, treatment that we receive in this country um, have an, has an impact on our health. The modules will share what's being experienced by Black society members and solutions for addressing systemic problems. By having this uh, group of scholars um, working on modules for medical learners, for faculty and for healthcare practitioners in the field, by doing this, there will be a greater understanding of the anti-Black racism that occurs to Black people in healthcare and beyond. Dr. Norum says after decades of unfairness, the goal is simple. Overall, how to treat people in our uh, society with dignity when they come to access care. The collaborative is busy getting to work and the first module will be available to students sometime next year. In Toronto, Malia Sheikh, City News.